Hello, I'm Dave Boysen, and I'm the first. I graduated from UW-Stevens Point with a degree in history and a license to teach high school and middle school social studies. I, I work here at UW-Stout. Um, I'm a learning technology services consultant for the College of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Um, been doing that for a little bit over a year. Prior to that, I worked for about three years at Bowman Hall, just across the way here. Uh, in the Aspire Student Support Services program. Married, I've got a family. Um, we, have, we have a family, we have two kids. Emily's a freshman, uh, finishing up her first year at UW-Eau Claire. And my son, Zach, is a sophomore in high school at Spring Valley, uh, which is also the town where we live, Spring Valley, Wisconsin. Being the youngest of nine, I had a lot of examples I could have followed, like a I mentioned earlier my oldest and older brothers went off to do typical man things, both of them. Uh, oldest brother joined the Army, second oldest brother joined the Air Force and went off and did their thing. Um, sisters got married, raised families, had kids, pretty normal stuff. I had some good teachers that I think steered me towards and kept me on the track where you've got to do something because you're too talented, you're too smart to just stay here in this town and do like almost everybody else does and grow up and farm. So what really helped me in that direction in my senior year, my brother Denny uh, came home to visit for Thanksgiving or Christmas or something like that. Big family gathering and during that time he asked me, how, how are you gonna pay for college? Have you figured out how you're gonna pay for college? Because I'd already done the applications and taken the ACT tests and things like that. How are you gonna pay for college? loans, I guess, um, and he said, let me show you how I'm doing it, and he sat down with a piece of paper and blew up a table for the, for the money that he was getting in combination from ROTC for being in college in the ROTC program, but also from being in the National Guard for his monthly uh, paycheck, um, and he showed me what it would be after a couple of years once I got commissioned as a lieutenant, uh, as an officer. And I thought, wow, this looks like big money. I better take this. It's a pretty good deal. So, like I said, that was around the fall or winter of my senior year in high school when I enlisted in the National Guard on April 24th, 1981. Graduated and went off to basic training at Fort Knox, Kentucky in July 1981. And uh, in May of 2003, I finally retired from the National Guard after serving for 22 years. Find your passion, find out what interests you, and then go after it. Um, it's going to cost some money, but don't worry about the cost. You can always make more money. So many people live their lives and don't find out what they're passionate about and what really makes them happy. Uh, if you can find that, then go after it. And be confident in yourself. Uh, you can do it. I, I did it, so you can do it. My brother did it, so I knew I could do it. Uh, it it's possible. Don't. Just, just stay positive, stay positive, you can do it.